Hello Aquarius viewers. Sorry I've been off for so long, but I am back now. And as always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. And that email is right below in the description box below the video. I will never reach out to you on here for readings, so be careful of scammers con commenting uh, WhatsApp links. That is not me. And uh, please subscribe if it resonates. And any donations are also appreciated. My donation link is also below. So let's get into it here. Hole in the soul, self-sabotage. Courage. Have faith. Entrapment. Healing. Selling out. Temptation. Okay. So the energy I'm getting from this is... This could be you, or this could be your person. I'm honest, I'm just gonna be honest. I feel like this person might need, whoever it is, I feel like they might need some kind of guidance or structure or support system. Like this might be someone, and full disclaimer, I cannot diagnose anything. Like I'm not certified to diagnose anything, so take it with a grain of salt. But someone here might have some kind of personality disorder, like borderline or bipolar. Um, cause this is a very, very bipolar kind of back and forth energy. I feel like this is someone who's trying to overcome their traumas. And honestly, I'm getting the energy that they, they need help. They need support. This is someone who's trying to overcome their traumas just all on their own. And I'm not saying you can't do it. Like you are, like if this is you, um, and this could be your person. So I'll get into lo the love portion of this video in just a minute. But if this is you, it's like you might need, if you don't have like a strong support system, if you don't have people you can trust, or like let's just say in childhood, like you didn't see what a healthy relationship looks like. Because I'm getting like the energy of someone who just like doesn't, it's like they just, they don't know what love is supposed to be like. Like they're trying to figure it out. It's like someone might have been like the black sheep of the family and it's like they've gone there on their separate paths and like, intuitively like you know th this person's soul knows that what they saw in childhood is not how love should be that that's not how family should be like this person knows that um there's healthy relationships out there but it's almost like they don't they haven't experienced much of that so they don't know what that looks like they don't know does that make sense it's like they don't know how to come into this energy they don't know how to communicate properly they don't you know, all they know is what they've been taught in childhood. And, and so it's like they have a very strong soul. So they have this awareness that that's not how it should be. But they don't have anything to go off of. Like, I feel like they didn't have strong, healthy role models growing up. So it's like they don't know how to properly express love or properly communicate. And that happens, you know, and this person's amazing because they're very, it's like this person seems like they're really alone, honestly. Like they really went their own path. Like they really cut a lot of people out. And, um, you have a very, like, if this is you, you have a very, very strong soul to be able to do that, to be able to, to be independent and just go on your own and just, you know, have this almost like blind faith. You're like, you know what? I might not have seen what love should look like, but I know that this isn't it. But for some, honestly, I'm getting counseling. I'm getting the energy of counseling that someone here, like, if this is you, it's something I, I know you probably hate to hear it because you're probably in this very like independent mindset. Like I, I can't need anybody. I can't afford to need anybody. I have to do this on my own. Um, and there's, if you, if you're, if money is an issue, there are sliding scale counselors. And like I said, I'll get to the love portion of this reading in just a minute. But for those of you that this is you, it's like you, you're going to frustrate yourself going back and forth. It's not anything that you're doing wrong. It's not like you're not strong enough. It's not like you're not independent enough. It's just that you don't, it's like you're clearing out this energy like you're, you're healing from the past and you're clearing out this energy, but you don't have like a strong support system. Like you don't have a strong base to be able to fully heal from this. Does that make sense? Cause it's almost like you're, 
it's like they say like with uncrossing work, it's like uncrossing work, it's like energy clearing work. Like it works, but if you don't have something to replace it, it's like you're just you're just clearing energy that you're still producing, if that makes sense. And it's not saying that it's like futile. Like you have done a lot of work. Like you have come very far. Like you should be proud of yourself. You are on the right path. But it's just one of those things that's like if you quit smoking, you can't just like quit smoking and like not have like anything to to take the place of that addiction. Otherwise, you're just going to sit there and you're going to be lonely and empty and bored and stagnant and you're going to go back to smoking. Or same with drinking. It's like or like cutting out like friends and family. Like you have to have like a new like some kind of like we're, we're, we're social animals. We're meant to be social. We're, we need to be vulnerable. We need human interaction. We need that closeness. So it's like if you cut family and friends out, that's amazing. And I, you should do that. If they're toxic, you should do that, even if that means you have to be alone for a while. But like eventually it's like that loneliness catches up to you. Even though you feel like that sense of freedom and happiness, you still kind of need some kind of support system. Not, not saying to go back to the toxic people. Like I definitely would not go back to the toxic people. But I'm saying like maybe try to meet people that are like-minded and people that you can really have close friendships with. Because it's like you're clearing the energy out but you're not doing anything to like replace it. You know what I mean? And I think that's why you keep falling back to old patterns because it's like the energy clears and then you're like, you end up being bored or lonely and you, you, you're like, damn, like, well now I don't have anything. And so it's like, you need to, to keep clearing the energy out, but have like a replacement that's more healthy and more positive, you know? Um, because, like, you can't... This is someone that's trying to do it all alone, and it's, like, you you can't just do it all alone. And this could be your person, too. So if this is not you, if this is your person, I'm going to get into that love portion in a minute. But um, but I'm honestly seeing, like, you're, you're, you're go someone's going in circles, and it's, like, you don't want to keep going in circles and going back, and then you feel discouraged. You're, like, what's wrong with me? Why am I so weak? It's, like, you're not weak. You're actually very strong. You're very independent. It's just that you... Everybody needs love. Everybody needs that base. Everybody... You know, you can't just be working all the time and not have like, not have enough hobbies and like things that make you happy and things that to replace that old energy that you cleared out. It's like, what is that quote? Change, like true change comes not just from clearing the old energy out, but inviting the new energy in. Like you need that new energy. And I'm honestly getting here that someone probably needs counseling. And maybe if you went to counselors in the past and like you just didn't click with them, like Maybe you felt like you knew so much more about psychology than they did, or you felt like you... Because I feel like someone's here is very independent, so you probably felt like they were telling you something that you already know. But I just feel like... If you don't have anyone to talk to, like, just either a counselor or, like, a social group, like, maybe, like, on Facebook, like, maybe just, like, support groups even, like, just, like... Some, something that you know is going to be healthy and positive and good for you. Something you can really rely on and trust. But there needs to be some kind of support because, I, like I said, I feel like... I just feel like this, like, confusion. Like, you're, like, someone... It's, it's like they've never seen healthy love. They've never seen, like... Like, they know it's out there. They believe in it. But it might be just something that they've seen in, like, movies or books or, like, something that they've seen other people have, but they don't understand how to have that themselves or what that looks like. And so it's kind of saying, like, you you really need to, um, you like, you need you need other people. You, you can't figure this out on your own because you haven't experienced it. You, you feel me? Like, for if this is your energy group, you know, it's either going to resonate or it's not. It's, it's, it's either your energy group or it isn't. But but it, it's like, and like I said, this could be your person. So I'll get into that in a minute. I just want to finish this message here. But, um, but yeah, it's like if you've never experienced that, you need someone. You need like a counselor or someone like a, like a, someone who's experienced that you know for sure that you can trust. Um and preferably someone that knows a lot about psychology and understands how to help you break these patterns. Because it's like you need, it's, it's kind of like someone needs to learn these communication skills. Someone needs to learn what healthy love looks like, what, how to communicate their needs. It's like I feel like this person might like kind of, it's like they just don't have a strong, like I said, they just, they haven't, they haven't seen it. They haven't experienced it. They, they. They lack the foundation, and so they need someone that's experienced and someone experienced with psychology to help them find that, to help them understand how to communicate. Because I feel like this person, like, has so much trauma, and they try to, like, suppress it, and they try to just heal from it, 
And then they like explode. They're like, why isn't the positive thinking working? And they just kind of like explode on everybody and go back to their old ways or like they, it's like, there's like just a huge lack of balance. Like I see like major, like back and forth energy here where it's like someone either suppresses their emotions or like they, if they don't suppress them, I just see like a dull kind of like depressed energy where they're like, okay, well I made these life changes, but then it's like, they're not doing anything to bring in the, they don't know how to bring in the new energy. They don't know how to go out and meet people. They don't know how to communicate with people. They don't know how to have healthy relationships. So they end up being completely alone and going back to the toxic people because that's all they know. And they eventually get, they're eventually like, damn, I'm sick of being alone. So I'm going to go back to what I'm used to. Um, so that's the issue there. It's like you, you kind of need like a therapist or someone to kind of teach you like, this is what healthy boundaries look like. This is how you express your emotions in a balanced way without exploding on people. This is how you meet new people. This is how you, this is how you understand and have empathy and communicate with people differently. Like someone needs, they just need that light, that experience they need. They haven't, you know, anyway, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like there's, you know, it's, it's can be really helpful. I think that basically if this is you, like, I know you want to do it on your own, but you're, you're not going to be able to do it on your own. You're really, you're going to have to find that support somehow. You're going to have to find that experience somehow. Anyway, for those of you that this is a love reading, I think everything that I just said pretty much applies to your person. If this, if this is a love reading, but they are trying to, it's like they're trying to just snap themselves out of this energy for you and they can't. They need to go to a counselor. This person needs healing. It's like they have this hole in their hole. <laughs> oh my God, did I just say have a hole in their hole? They have a hole in their soul <laughs> um, that leads them to self-sabotage. Like these are really deep-seated. This person, whoever this is, this person definitely had a bad childhood. Like this isn't, this is a lot of like neglect, a lot of heartbreak. There's a lot of trauma here. This isn't like someone that had a bad few years. This is someone that's been, this is someone that's been traumatized since childhood. Um, and with the self-sabotage card here too, it's like almost like this energy has led them to be self-destructive, to sabotage things. And I feel like maybe you're, if, if this isn't you and this is your person, it's like you're going, this person might be bipolar or it's like, they're like sending you, it's like, like a merry, like a, not a merry-go-round, uh, like a roller coaster really. Cause I'm like, wait, merry-go-rounds don't go up and down. <laughs> I'm saying, well, I guess they kind of do. I'm seeing like up and down energy. Anyway, up and down energy here with a self-sabotage where it's like, they might communicate love by like lashing out or being angry or like being like, they just, they don't, I'm getting like a, like a hermit kind of energy. Like they really don't know. They really don't know how to love, even though they long for that energy. They want to love. They just don't know. They have no idea how they don't know what that looks like. And so I think if this is your person you're dealing with, you're getting really frustrated and you're like, damn, like, does this person just not love me? Like, why do I feel like they're so attached to me and so in love with me? And yet they keep like hiding like a scared puppy or they keep like, they lash out. And this is, I'm not excusing anyone that's abusive. Like if this person's abusive with you, I would cut them out and let them go on their own path. But this is more like someone who like, just, they just don't communicate properly. And they're, they're, not, they're not like mean, like this person, I'm not getting like a mean spirited energy. I'm not getting someone that's physically abusive. No, I'm, I would never condone anything like that. It, it's more like, how do I even explain the anger? I guess you probably, if this is your story, you probably like, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like, can you put the, your finger on this energy? Like the anger? Cause I'm like, I'm like, you probably know. I just see like a like a I don't know if it's pouty. How do I explain it? I'm getting like beauty and the beast kind of vibes, like hermit vibes. Um, whereas like this person might like do stupid things or like they might, I'm going to pause it and try to see what I can channel here. Cause I'm sometimes when I channel, it gets messed up. It gets, I mean, it's not messed up, but it just like, all comes through at once. So I have to ground it and, and see what I'm, what I'm picking up. 
Okay, like I'm getting more of like a skittish energy. Like I see someone like backing into a corner, but it's like almost like a... Like... I'm getting like Mowgli from like the Jungle Book vibes. Like obviously it's not that bad, but it's like that's kind of like the energy I'm picking up like to a degree at least, like a small portion of that. It's almost like someone that like gets like angry when they feel attacked or they get defensive. Like they have a lot of triggers that they haven't, like a lot of triggers and a lot of wounds that they haven't dealt with. So I'm not seeing them. It's not like aggression towards like towards you. It's more like, because I see them like backing away from you and they feel triggered and they feel like defensive and protective of themselves. And so it's like anger in a way, but it's like they're trying to protect themselves. Like they're not trying to come after you or hurt you. It's more like they're just, they're just like overly protective of their energy where it might be something where it's like, like, what did I even do? Like, why are you so triggered? Why are you hot and cold? And, um... I just feel like it's like this energy where they like I feel bad for this person because it's like they really want to be with you they do want this love with you they just they have no idea what healthy love is they have no it's like they're trying so hard to heal themselves but they don't even have like a basis like I feel like this person never had like they never had like a supportive father figure or mother figure like like if they had like if they were like raised by the grandparents like their grandparents weren't good figures either it might have been someone that was like in like orphanages or foster care or like in and out of different houses or like kind of like had to raise themselves from a young age or like they had like toxic like neglectful parents or um like it's just sad because I'm feeling like this person really has no base at all like I feel like this person didn't even have like, you would hope that they would at least have had, like, a stepmother or stepfather or, like, a mentor that was, like, really positive and really loved them when they were young. And I'm honestly getting that, like, no, this person was really just not loved, like, when they were young. Like, they, they were really unloved. They were around very toxic people for so long. And it's not, it's not like they were unlovable. It was just that they were around people that weren't capable of true love. And just, it's just sad because I'm just looking into the energy and it's like, I don't even, yeah, I don't even see like a mentor figure for this person. I don't see anyone like that ever taught them what that looks like. They just have this like, cause they have a very old soul and that's what you're picking up on. That's that bond, that love that you're picking up on. And I feel like you keep getting confused because you're like, wow, like this, like, I know this person has an old soul. I know this person is like my soulmate or my twin flame, but like, why why is it so hard? Like, why are they not? Why, why are they all over the place? Why are they so defensive? Like their mind, their ego, their their current physical self does not match who they are on a soul level because of their experiences, what they've been through. And so it's kind of caused you some confusion because you're like, well, this is my person. I know this is my person. Why are they so triggered? Why are they so defensive? Why are they so why do they ghost and then come back randomly? Like, what is wrong with this person? Like, you, you're not getting it, you know? Um, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to understand. You know, it's hard when you pick up on someone on that soul level, like, you know what their soul is, but you also know that their ego and their mind is in like clashing with their soul. But, um, but yeah, it's like this person keeps like sabotaging this love because of, you know, this, the hole in the soul energy, like what they've been through, the damage could be a mother figure that left them out in the cold too here. Cause I'm seeing like a toxic feminine energy for some, but then it's like they try to have the courage to get past that, to move past this energy and to have faith here, you know, to have faith that more is coming. But then it's like they go right back to like feeling trapped because like I said, they don't have that base. So they don't know. It's like they're like, what do I do? Like they try to have courage and have faith and then they try to love you properly. They try to just like be open, but they have. They're like they like they literally I know it sounds weird but it's like they literally don't understand like what that looks like they don't understand what love looks like so it might be like like they don't want to be toxic with you some of them are staying away from you because they don't want to be toxic for you or toxic with you because it's like they might know like maybe their dad was like like maybe like like their dad or someone was like abusive with their mother or there was some kind of like childhood abuse and they're like they know their patterns and they're so, they're like I don't want to like express love in a way where I'm like angry or I'm neglectful or hurtful like they don't want to hurt you anymore and so some of them are just staying away like they don't want to ghost you they don't want to be away from you but they're afraid that they just don't know how to love and that they're just going to keep hurting you because it might be one of those situations where you're like like when you guys were together when you were you know had your situationship or whatever you had going on 
you might have been like, dude, like, like, how do you not know to bring me flowers for my birthday? How do you not know to take me on a date? Like, how do you not know to tell me I'm beautiful? How do you not know to, um, to, to express love? Like, you're like, you're kind of like, almost like, like you got frustrated with this person. And I think this press person got frustrated back where they're like, like, they're like, you don't understand. I literally don't know how, like, I literally never, like, they probably don't want to tell you that. Like, they're not going to come out and tell you, like, I've never seen true love in my life. Like, I've never seen that outside of books and movies. I have no idea what a good relationship looks like, but like, that's how they're kind of feeling where they're like, it really is like, like, they really don't understand. Like, they might have it in their head that, like, if they do those things, like, they're going to get taken for granted or taken advantage of because of what they've been through or what they've seen, like, their parents go through. Um, it's like some of them almost express love through anger. And don't let that get toxic. Like, if this person's toxic, cut them out. Like, let them go to a counselor and let them come back when they're ready. Don't make excuses for them. But for the majority, I do feel like this person isn't a bad person. They just, they have so much damage, so much deep-rooted trauma. Um, but I feel like mutual frustration, like you guys got in arguments or there might have been just like silence or like miscommunication where it was like, you're like, man, like how do you not know to say these things or to do these things? And like this person literally is like, I'm getting like Mowgli from like the Jungle Book vibes. Like this person is like, I don't know if they've never had a relationship or like they haven't had very many close relationships or maybe they've never had a healthy relationship before. Maybe you're their first healthy relationship. So like maybe like with their exes, they would just argue all the time and it'd be like a power struggle and it would, was super toxic. Maybe they were abusive with each other even. And like with you, you're just really like, like you've been really supportive and loving. And so they're like, what do I even like, what do I do with that? Like, am I going to get taken for granted? Like, like they don't like, they, they, they literally don't understand. They're like, they don't understand how to love properly, how to love you, but they want that. They want to do that. And it's like, they start like having the courage and the faith. And then they, they go back to feeling trapped and being like, well, like, I don't like, like, what do I do? And they try to heal themselves and they start healing themselves. And then they end up feeling like, you know, like I said, they have no base. They never had a mentor. They never had anyone show them these things. So they're like, they're like, they try to heal themselves. And then they end up selling out again because they're like, well, I don't know what to do next. Like I'm healing and they might feel like, I think they just feel lost too. They feel like nothing they do is ever good enough. So they end up selling out again and they might like go to like like exes or like you know things that like tempt them like they might go back into those old patterns cuz so it's like like what do they do what is your advice on how to deal with this person alchemy unleash your creativity inner child this person's inner child needs healing for sure um I think approaching the situation, like with alchemy and unleash your creativity, it's kind of like approaching the situation differently. Finding creative ways to find that balance. Like if you know that they have a hard time expressing love, like kind of finding ways to like gently, like showing them. I, I'd hate to say it, but honestly, like they need to be shown. Like you, you kind of have to tell this person how to love you. And you have to do it in a gentle way because I feel like if you just say like, oh, you didn't bring me flowers. Oh, you didn't, you never take me there. You never tell me I'm beautiful. You never do this. This person is just like, like they get overwhelmed and they just shut down. They don't know what to do because then they, then they feel like garbage about themselves because they're like, damn, like I really, I didn't understand. I didn't, I didn't know. I don't know what women want or what men want. I don't know what people want. I don't know how people communicate in healthy ways. So it's kind of like, showing them in like a gentle way like hey like I I really love flowers like I would love it like if you surprise me with flowers sometime like there's like a way to communicate your needs in a way that's not going to make this person feel attacked and feel like like getting their pride you know and their spirit guides are helping both of you like get out of this prideful energy and like kind of just let's see here yeah some of them think that you're some of them find your beauty intimidating to the point where it makes them procrastinate. I know that sounds weird, but they feel like you're too good for them. So, um, yeah, I would say if you do love this person, if you do want to go through this, just approach this in a more... Ask for your needs, like make sure your needs are being met, but do it in a more gentle way. 
I feel like you guys are like in this pattern of like you guys argue or you flip out on each other and you you they like you feel like your needs aren't being met and then they get really overwhelmed and they feel like they just they almost like go into hermit mode and they're like maybe I'm not good enough for this person maybe I really don't know how to love anybody maybe I just need to be alone and then they come back because they really do want to love you they just like like I said they don't know how and then it goes back to that cycle where you're like well you know this isn't happening this isn't happening I need these these needs are being met um And so it's kind of like, like find that balance, you know, gently ask them. This person gets really triggered. So like gently ask them for what you need. Try to have that kind of like empathetic, loving, high vibrational energy, but like say like, Hey, like I would love it if we go do this. I would love it if like, I, like, I think they do want to meet your needs. It's just, there's something about like the miscommunication. Like they're not trying to, I feel like if you're in that energy group where it's like, this is like a love story for you. It's like, like you feel like they just don't care about your needs or they're not trying to meet your needs or they're trying to like neglect you and it's nothing like that. I feel like they just like they really need you to someone to guide them. They really need you to tell them what you need in a way that's not passive aggressive in a way that's very direct but very gentle at the same time. Um, but this, it's like this person gets so triggered though. They get so like defensive and they feel so rejected so easily. So it's like they really they're going to need counseling anyway no matter what. Like, even if you're redirecting them, there's only so much you can do. But but with counseling and with, um, you know, that like that redirection to like with you telling them like in a gentle way, I think there is some hope there. But at, this person's this person's going to take a lot of patience if you go that route, that route, route, route. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if it resonates.